Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Wednesday, September the 13th of 2023. Many blessings to you all as we move into this energy. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And I want to thank you in advance for those likes and subscribes. And don't forget to share this with somebody you love. Because we're in the energy of all kinds of you know what breaking loose. And we all need all the help we can get to stay on that positive track. So what we're doing here is we're using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our energy on creating our best possible life now. So let's get about doing that right now. Ooh, hey. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Temperance card. The Two of Pentacles is the energy of the infinity symbol. And it means being in the flow. You are in the rhythm. You're, you're building your mojo. You have the momentum to create. So keep your eye on the prize and don't turn your head away. Because this is like juggling. You don't want to have to pick it all up or chase it down. You've got it going in the right direction. You're in the groove. Don't look away. Don't stop now. And we have Temperance, which is the Sagittarius Major Arcana. It's also the Archangel Uriel, and usually depicted in Standard Tarot as an angel. Now, this is about the synchronicity of the universe creating balance. And that's why we've got one giant orb here and the four smaller ones equal it out so where it balances. Remember, this is about the universe bringing in what balances without you having to lift a finger. So this is much appreciated. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Hey, queen of pentacles, that's not too shabby. This is a feminine energy, which means new, creative, growth, abundance, and stability. It's also the earth sign energy, which we are in the Virgo energy right now in the zodiac. So Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn fit this queen, queen of Pentacles. But this is the energy of abundance and, and for all. So we'll take that happily. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we'll lay out our cards here. And our underlier... Hey, we have the Justice card, Libra Major Arcana, which is right around the corner, coming up faster than we know. This is true balance. This is being in a place of equilibrium. Divine focus is equalizing and very laser effective. And this card means right choices being made by you and for you. So we'll take that. Trust is our first card out in our clarifying decks. And this is absolutely necessary. You've got to be able to trust your higher self and the higher source universe, okay? Because if you don't trust your own self, A, uh, and, your, and your higher self, the more evolved self, your best possible uh, edification of yourself, right? Then you're, you really got some changes to make if that's the case. <laughs> so you, you first, you got to find a place to be able to trust. I set my intention and I trust in my abilities to improve my circumstances. That means you're able to get out of the victim mode and to take charge of the actions that are coming toward you and the energy that you're sending out and that's what's going to be reciprocated by the universe. So you've got to be able to understand that if you intend harm, you're going to receive that back at you magnified. If you intend a blessing, then you receive that back at you magnified the universe is bouncing it off like like a tennis ball that's hitting a wall and coming back to you only harder right so let yourself release the fear and trust the divine and yourself because you inherently know all the answers that are within you 
already. You just have to uncover them. Non-attachment. I am certain that I will reach my goal without letting go of how, sorry, while letting go, not without letting go. I'm going to start over. I am certain <laughs> that I will reach my goal while letting go of how it will happen. Mm. You have to be in a place where you let the universe make your best move for you. You may not be aware of it. You've got to be open to the, to the universe assisting in the most possible way. In the best, most possible way. The most positive possible way is what I'm trying to say. I skipped a word. I don't know what's going on. We got some retrograde happening on me. Oh, hey, we take this one. Big happy changes. Yes, team, yes, team. We just had this one, so it's repeating. We'll take it. Yay, yay, yay. Big happy changes. I love that card. I love my cards. I like all of them. It's the way it is. I love all of them. And perception. This is a biggie. This means what you, what you believe and what you've been taught is going to skew what you are experiencing. So if you don't know and no one's ever known it around you and you've never experienced it, what's your perception going to be? Fear, because you don't know what it is. It's something new. You don't know how to deal with it. So make sure that you see when something's kicking off in you that it, is that my perception of it? Because sometimes you can skew that in a way that makes it feel like danger when it isn't. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and take a good, hard, deep look at it. That means when you can start to kind of smooth out some of your perceptions about life, you start to move away from some of the obstacles you've created from that perception. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that wise knowing moan of hmm contemplation. Okay. Miracle. Dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, let not hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together, we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals in the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest with a big exclamation point. We'll take it. We love the miracle energy. Miraculous things happen every day. Therefore, we are entitled to that as well. Creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow your inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. The reason why children have such a tap into creativity is because their inexperience of people judging them and people criticizing them and their own self-doubt is not there. So most of the time a child will go into something so open that they just actually access it and how to do it without any problem and no walls. They have nothing to climb over. Right? They don't have to overcome all of these why, the reasons why we can't. So, go back to that thought. Hey, Empress is back. We had her yesterday. The beautiful energy of the Empress is the energy of abundance, fertility, and beautiful, beautiful wealth and joy and wonderful energy of having a kind of a status and being seen in that energy of status. And we have the Leo Strength card, which is the Archangel Ariel, assisting us as we walk the path to get to the goal that we're after to keep us from being distracted or absconded with by someone or someone's attention, you know, pulling us off or, or somebody derailing us. 
Hello! And the prize is ours, the Ten of Cups. We will take it. Yes, we will. The Ten of Cups is the happily ever after, y'all. It's an absolutely fabulous energy. It is the icosahedron is combined in this particular depiction. And that's the 20-sided uh, geometric pattern. And it is absolutely meaning that everything is at the top of the top of the top. It is the best possible outcome in all ways. So it's upgrade energy. It's love, abundance. It's beautiful harmony and happiness and joy and success. So well, on that note, I will see you guys tomorrow as we move forward. Allow yourself to be in a place of victory. Allow the big happy changes without restriction. It's there for you. Accept and receive it. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.